Hey, Cameron here with C Butter Tech, and today I'm going to be looking at what happens to your Surface Pro when you disable BitLocker, a VBS based security, core isolation, in order to uh, make it run a little bit faster. Uh, does it actually make a difference? Let's find out in this video. But first, how do you disable <laughs> all these things? Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few ways you can mildly enhance your performance. Uh, by disabling certain security features. Now, this is not for everyone. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm gonna talk you through each of the features and kind of what they do. Um, but there is performance gains to be had. This is more just to see how much performance we can gain by one, disabling BitLocker, two, disabling Core Isolation, VBS, and HVCI. Now, um, first of all, let's talk about BitLocker. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the Windows button and type BitLocker. And then you can click Manage BitLocker. And we can actually turn off BitLocker here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, now, by turning off BitLocker, essentially what you're doing is, you can see you get a decryption in progress here. So while that's going, um, what that means is if someone were to pull the SSD out of your machine, since BitLocker is being disabled, they could potentially read every single file on that drive now that BitLocker is decrypted. So um, this is a security feature, so no one could just steal your drive and read your data, but by disabling it, someone can now do that. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, do not perform this task. While that's decrypting, that will all happen in the background now. We can check it again to see when it's done at some point. But let's go ahead and look at the second one, which is core isolation. So we're gonna to go to, we're gonna hit Windows I, and we're gonna go, we're gonna type in core isolation. And we're going to turn uh, memory integrity off. And you'll have to reboot to, to change the setting. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is uh, to see if virt VBS or virtual base security is enabled. So we're gonna hit Windows and we're gonna type system information. We're gonna go here and what you're looking for is right here, virtualization based security and it says it is running. So in order to disable that, there's a couple steps we need to take. Okay, to disable this, you're gonna to want to open the registry editor. So we'll go ahead and open that. And we're gonna to navigate to HKEY local machine. We're gonna to go to system. We're gonna to go to current control set. And then we're gonna to go to control. And then we're gonna to go to device guard. And then we have some registry entries here. And a lot of those are enable virtualization based security. And we're gonna set that to a zero. So now if we run system information again, you can see it's still running. <laughs> now this is, this is, you really have to fight it. So let's go back to regedit. And um, we still need to go into scenarios. And in scenarios, there's system guard, and that's set to enabled. So we're gonna set that to zero. I'm gonna reboot again and see if that gets it for us. Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress. We can see services configured is now blank here, but virtualization-based security is still running. So let's go ahead and keep looking in that registry. So we're gonna change require platform security features zero and require Microsoft signed boot chain to zero. So all of our items are zero now. Let's reboot and see if that gets us any further. Okay, so a little more progress. We've got a few of these things disabled. Uh, so we're gonna get a little more brute forcey. We're gonna go to CMD command prompt. 
We're going to run this as administrator and we're going to type bcd edit slash set space hypervisor launch type off. Operation completed successfully. We'll reboot. And after doing that one, uh, you can see it actually breaks your pin and face sign in. You'll have to re register those. Okay, now after doing all that, you can see virtualization based security is enabled but not running, so we still have not completely disabled it. So now we got to do uh, one more thing, which is we need to enter the BIOS. So to enter the BIOS, you're going to go to your system and inside system, you're going to go to recovery. And we're going to do advanced startup restart now. Okay, we're going to choose troubleshoot. We're going to go to advanced options and we're going to go to UEFI firmware settings. Okay, now we're in the BIOS. We're going to go down to we're going to go down to this option which is secured core. And we're going to turn that off. And then we'll exit. Okay, so it appears even that was not enough to disable it. So we're going to try one more thing, which is group policy. So we're going to hit Windows and type GP edit, edit group policy. And we're going to go to computer configuration, administrative settings, system. We're going to go into device guard and in here we have turn on virtualization based security. We'll double click this and we're going to set that to disabled and apply that. And then let's reboot one more time to see if we're finally done. Okay, so finally after changing every single setting possible, we're going to go to system information and we can see yes, finally virtualization based security is not enabled. So now let's benchmark things and see if things are any faster on the Surface Pro 10. All right, so I've run several of my usual benchmarks to see what turning off VBS, BitLocker, and some of these security features to see what they do. Uh, first of all, we're looking at Shadow of the Tomb Raider and we can see we actually went from 25 frames per second average uh, with VBS disabled and stock configuration, it only got 22 frames per second. So pretty interesting result there. Let's move over to Final Fantasy 15 benchmark. And this one didn't seem to sh carry the way. In fact, the stock score was actually slightly higher, but within margin of error. So no changes on Final Fantasy. If we look at Cyberpunk though, huge difference here. We went from 16.59 uh, we went to 16.59 from 14 frames per second. Again, this is 1080p, higher settings. You wouldn't want to play the game like this, but gives you a good idea of the performance difference. This is a huge 18% difference with VBS disabled versus stock. So definitely an increase here. If we look at Time Spy, uh, the overall score went from 2257 stock to, with VBS disabled, 2337. So, so that's a pretty surprising result on the Surface Pro 10 that we have here and uh, might be worth considering turning VBS off, but it's not that big a deal that it's like a huge difference uh, that, I mean, if you're very security minded, if you're using this for your company purposes or doing real business on it rather than, you know, your own personal thing that you take other security measures, you may not want to do this, but uh, there are some performance gains that can be had by doing this. It's interesting uh, to see uh, what the difference was. So thanks for watching. Enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.